back and we back and we back. You know, it's time for Thursday. So, you know, I'm back from the movies. And uh, what did we see? Well, the Marvels, the next uh, MCU movie part of phase. I think we're in phase five. Now we're near the end of phase five. And uh, this serves as a direct sequel to both Captain Marvel, the movie, and Miss Marvel, the series. Um, it is written and directed by Naya Costa, whom you may know from, the last movie I think she directed was the Candyman movie, which was also really good. But we have the Marvels. Uh, our principal players are, that actually this also serves as kind of a sequel to Nick Fury as well. Um, so, in addition to Nick Fury, played by Samuel Jackson, we have back Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, um, Tiana Paris as Monica Rambeau, she has no code name yet, and Iman Valani as Miss Marvel, who is just perfect. She's just absolutely awesome. So, um, what is this movie? Well, the plot is very very simple uh zoe ashton plays dar ben she is kind of the new ronan accuser of the creek she has his hammer and essentially she is opening jump points around the galaxy close enough to planets to absorb a resource to bring back the Kree home world. Not bring back, but make it healthy again, the Kree home world of Hala, which was destroyed in the Captain Marvel movie when Captain Marvel destroyed the Supreme Intelligence. So, that's the plot. And the subplot is Monica's um, Carol's and Kamala's powers are entangled because they're all based off of light. Carol can absorb it. Monica can see it. Kamala can turn light into physical matter. Um, I'm still never going to go over them changing Kamala's powers from the comic book. But I digress. They're making it work. Say less. Um, so their powers are being entangled. So we come to find out that the bangle that Kamala has is something uh, special. And if you know your comic book history, if you know the Kree, you can actually guess and figure out what her bangle actually is. And that's one of the core um, pieces in this movie. Uh, so the three have to team up along with Nick Fury. Kamala's parents and brother are there as well. I'm going to stop Dar Ben. And it's simple. It's literally that simple the movie actually isn't even long it's just under two hours long it's like an hour 40 i think if that if that ultimately helps the movie um let me get my face in here um the movie works best when it's centered around our three leads so we have kamala's fangirling of captain marvel and then we have the relationship between uh, uh, Carol and Monica that hasn't um, gotten better. Remember, Carol is quote unquote Monica's aunt and Monica was blipped away. When she got blipped away, her mom died of cancer. So she wasn't there and Carol wasn't there. So now we're building the three relationship with the odd couple relationship of well, Monica and Kamala. And it just, it works. Um, I know Brie Larson catches a lot of flag. I think Brie Larson is absolutely amazing. And I want her just to be a little bit more tough, a little more rough playing Captain Marvel, just a little bit more stern, but still showing their heart. Tiana is uh, making Monica her own. Um, she doesn't have a code name yet, and that's part of the core of her character you got to remember monica's history in the comic book she is also a very very powerful character and then we have kamala amani absolutely once again slays as miss marvel she is kind of the glue and the heart that holds this team of the marvels together nick fury's there he's doing his thing um 
I like him much better here than I did in his show, because his show did Samuel Jackson no favors. It's also kind of a sequel to the Nick Fury show. Um, but I don't know if I could really say anything bad about this movie. Um, it's short, quote unquote, it's to the point. It works best when we focus on our three main characters who are absolutely carrying this movie. The movie's got enough comedy to hold you. It's got enough heart to hold you. It's, it's very, very touching. Um, CGI can get a little bit wonky here and there because we know the story of Marvel and their and their um, their computer artists. Um, the script is fine. It's like tight and it's not trying to do too much i actually enjoy this probably the only movie i'll probably enjoy more than this part of phase four and phase five was guardians of the galaxy 3 um this is right up there with that i still guardians 3 is still like the best of the of the last phase but this is just it's good it's got two really really good and powerful post-credit scenes one of them that I was absolutely, I was hyped for both of them, but one of them I was really, really looking looking forward to just because it's the seeds for it have been planted and have been hinted throughout the shows and the movies with some of our um, younger heroes. And we'll leave it at that. Um, so overall, it's a good movie. It's fun. It's perfect viewing. The cast is great. And it feels weird because I was oddly hyped so much for this movie over many of the other phase four or phase five movies and we know that these core characters Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel and um, I want to keep calling her Spectrum she doesn't have a name yet, Monica will be back and once again there are hints and there are blatant holes where we're showing that we're tying into a multiverse, we're tying into um, something different. We had it with Doctor Strange. We have it with um, Loki in the time stream. Something's going to go down. Something big is going to happen in the MCU because you can't keep touching on holes in reality. You know, we introduced uh, America Ferrera. We have, uh, we like I said, we have Loki. Now we had Dar Ben using the light to break holes in reality. So something is coming. And you should be on the lookout for that. But overall, the Marvels, the sequel to Captain Marvel, the sequel to Miss Marvel, the sequel to Nick Fury. <sighs> I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. It's just good viewing. And I know a lot of neckbeard incel nerds, dudes that have a problem with women leading, this, that, and third are going to hate it, and they're going to shit on it. This is a good movie, y'all. It's so enjoyable. And the one of the best things Disney Marvel has done in a very long time is get a mom but Lenny as Miss Marvel. She is absolutely fantastic and I'm looking forward to her next move and um, what she's planning on to do next. So once again, The Marvels, 7.5 out of 10. Go check it out. <laughs>